Even hotter on Wednesday, but short of a record high. Good Tuesday night, East Tennessee. David Aldrich, Captain Accurate here from the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center. Well, you can see we have a thunderstorm or two in parts of Alabama and Georgia, most of them down in Florida. Not a lot going on here, but you can track it using the Captain Accurate Weather app now with Pete Michaels Traffic, local traffic reports 24-7. Check it out. It's at the App Store and Google Play. But we can zoom in. Oh, yes, yeah, so you can see a couple of showers and storms just south of Atlanta just after about 10 after 7 tonight. All that's moving away. All is quiet. Quiet and dry and will continue to be in East Tennessee tonight with some patches of fog in the morning. Hey, look at this. We hit 90 degrees today. Well, what were you calling for? I was calling for 89. I was calling for 90 last week, but then I modified it a degree. It shouldn't have moved it. But 81, the normal high, record high 97 from 1925. They hit 91 today in Oak Ridge, 90 Athens and Sevierville. 88 Morristown, Talbot, Russellville, 89 Maryville, and 86 in Crossville today. And they broke a record, or at least tied a record. They hit triple digit heat in Memphis. 100 degrees ties the record from 2010. Oh, that's a long time ago. But they have seen temperatures in the upper 90s today in Nashville, Huntsville. Chattanooga hit 93 today. I suspect we'll be at 93 tomorrow. So what Chattanooga saw today, we should get tomorrow where, as far as high temperatures are concerned. And the record high is 95. So that'll be out of reach. 90 degree days if you're keeping score. We average about 34. But it's interesting because September usually yields four days. 34 days per year. We've exceeded that so far. Uh, we're already up to 40. And um, we've now added our third day today. Tomorrow will be the fourth. So that'll put us to 41 at the conclusion of Wednesday. Interesting. 41 was the total number of last year. So we can match almost to, well, to the right number of days. 41 days, which clearly is about seven days more than the average two years in a row. Wouldn't that be strange? But stranger things have happened. This all comes by way of the weather, the numbers from the National Weather Service in Morristown. Now, I do expect patches of fog to greet you in some cases tomorrow morning. Let's just see where the modeling puts some of that fog. About 2 or 3 in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, it might look like this. This might be the worst case scenario where you see some patches of fog in the Southern Valley, across the valley, and even across parts of uh, maybe even into Northeast Tennessee. But if it lingers, uh, it may very well turn into haze, as I suspect it will turning very hot and humid. Now notice the green ooze kind of retreats a little bit tomorrow morning at seven, but then it comes back. It comes back three, four, five o'clock. So you'll feel pretty sticky with highs around 93. But once we move into say, let's say Friday, Friday's one of our transition day to the cooler, crisp air. Ooh, look at that, it's turned brown. Uh, what's the legend? It says dry. Yeah, that's where it turns crispy. Nice, cool, and crisp. You might want to hang out in a corn maze or an apple orchard. By the time Friday morning arrives, say, this is fantastic. I wish every day was like Friday, but only so often do they come around. So make sure you enjoy Friday if you're not a fan of the heat and humidity, which we will see in the short term. If you're tailgating this Saturday, of course, it's Gator Hater Week. Oh, yes, we hate those gators, but they'll be in town. 3.30 is the start, so tailgating will start early. Low in the morning, about 55. Afternoon high around 82 now, mostly sunny, if not partly cloudy. That's my expectation. If you're cooking some hot dogs and hamburgers, make sure you share and make plenty for all your friends. Look at this. 3.30 is the start. Hashtag Go Big Orange. They've lost a game to the Kentucky Wildcats. I am going to tell you that. I work in Lexington on weekends, so I can be happy the Gators did fall to the Wildcats. 3-0, and the Vols. And, of course, with uh, partly cloudy skies, I suspect we'll find 82 at kickoff, 81 at halftime, fourth quarter, back into the mid-70s. Winds won't be all that movable. Won't move that much. About 3-8 to eight miles per hour out of the west when they're moving. Now, take a look at this. We do have some chances for some rain, albeit small, heading into Thursday. So this is 11 o'clock tonight. This is about 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. No big deal. Lots of cool air, perhaps in the lower 60s, about 63 to start your day tomorrow. But once this front comes to town, this is Thursday. Got some showers just north of Bowling Green, and it makes its way here. About about 20% chance. I mean, if it holds together, we'll be lucky, but it won't last all that long. By 5 o'clock, it's gone, and it's starting to tumble. Temperatures are dropping. Humidity's dropping. We'll be waking up on Friday morning in the low 50s. How about that? Pretty sweet, I might say. I think Friday morning is certainly the coolest morning that we'll see in the seven-day outlook. Tonight, 63, mostly clear. Patches of fog late. If you need some inspiration, I'll just take you to the fire pit. Oh, yeah, hang out there, fire pit. Oh, you got a fire pit. It's summer, right? You got one good day of summer tomorrow. 
Mostly clear patches of fog late. We're down to 63. Then tonight, we're down to 60 Middlesbrough, Oneida, 63 Crossville, 62 in Newport. Tomorrow, expecting high of 93. The record is 95. Set back in 1955. We're not going to hit that, but we'll be a couple degrees shy. Hazy, hot, and humid, light and variable winds. 91 La Follette, expecting 92 in Oak Ridge and Clinton. About 92 for Maryville, Seymour, Alcoa. 90 for Sevierville, about 92 for Newport. It's a hot day. Uh, lots of sunscreen. Make sure you have the sunglasses and the kids, if they're outside for recess, for example, that they're ready for the weather. Now, here we go. Wednesday, we're talking a high of 93. Here is your Captain Accurate Weather Authority forecast for Knoxville and East Tennessee. 87 now for Thursday. A nice day, beautiful day. 74. Cool sunshine on Friday. Keep in mind, fall begins at 9.04 at night, so you technically have two full days of summer left. But tomorrow, hottest day of the week. 82 on Saturday now, 80 on Sunday. I think our best chance of rain will come in Sunday night and into Monday morning. And then it's back to mostly sunny mid-70s on Tuesday. So Tuesday looks pretty sweet, too. If you don't get outside for Friday, you'll have opportunities on Tuesday as well. By the way, you can keep track of it all using the Captain Accurate Weather app with Pete Michaels Traffic. It's free. Go to the App Store, Google Play, or just search Captain Accurate at the App Store and Google Play. Well, my name is David Aldridge. Some people call me Captain Accurate. It's not easy being accurate. So weather doesn't surprise you. We'll see you here next time. Take care. Oh, my God.